In this video, let's talk about Microsoft 365 Lighthouse. Now, what is Microsoft 365 Lighthouse? Microsoft 365 Lighthouse is an admin portal for managed service providers. So if you are a Microsoft partner and if you are a managed service provider who provides services related to Microsoft 365 licensing uh, to manage uh, various licensing components within your organization, then uh, Microsoft 365 Lighthouse is uh, an application which you can help uh, your uh, customers to manage their environment through proactive measures. Now it provides capabilities like uh, account management, uh, tenant management, uh, you get a device protection, uh, alerts, streamline onboarding. So those kind of things you get as a part of this application. Now it's a, uh, you get a multi-tenant capabilities whereby you can manage all the customer tenants details uh, within one portal. So uh, it provides uh, details across customer devices, data and users. Now, remember, it's only available to Microsoft partners enrolled in the cloud solution provider program. So it is not available for uh, any user who's provisioning the Microsoft 365 tenant. Now, it's used for basically for small and medium business systems. Uh, uh, it is uh, and, and a similar product is available named as Azure Lighthouse. So Azure Lighthouse basically uh, is a similar like Microsoft 365 Lighthouse, but then it helps you manage uh, Microsoft Azure services uh, with scalability, higher automation and enhanced governance across the resources. Now, this is a URL through which you can navigate and you can uh, uh, check the Microsoft 365 Lighthouse application. Now, what are the different feature set that are available as a part of the uh, portal is like you are able to manage uh, the accounts, you're able to manage the risk users, you can manage the app performance, how the app is performing, uh, configure multi-factor authentication at scale, self-service password reset at scale, device security, threat management, device compliance, vulnerability management, uh, deployment baselines, uh, or check audit logs, uh, check service health, and like last couple of things like related to the sales management of sales opportunities and if there are any upcoming renewals which are coming for that customer so this is how the application looks like in the say these are like the left menu component so you see home alerts tenants users devices apps you can view the quarantine messages then there is a separate section for deployment you can view the service health audit logs permissions and a couple of things for opportunities and upcoming renewal from a user management perspective, you can manage the risky users for your customers, multi-factor authentication, self-service password reset, uh, and a whole bunch of things from a device perspective. That includes threat management, device health, uh, Windows logs, uh, vulnerability management. Uh, and from a permission side, you can check the delegated access and Lighthouse permissions. Lighthouse permission is an in-application permission. If you want to grant Lighthouse application admin portal uh, access to your staff members, then you can use Lighthouse permissions for that. Now, just to show you uh, how the application looks like. Now, I'm not able to demonstrate you because I'm not connected to a partner tenant. Uh, now this is just a developer uh, tenant which i'm connected to but this is how the application will look like if you navigate to lighthouse.microsoft.com here you will see a whole bunch of things now i i can see that i have this uh, error listed over here it says microsoft 365 lighthouse is currently available to partner so if you are a csv partner then only you will be able to uh, view details about your customer tenants now uh, it has clearly specified over here it says uh, you must be an indirect reseller or direct bill partner to use the service so neither i am uh, of this um, feature set so i'm not able to view any of the components within lighthouse but this is how the application will look like uh, it has an alerts it has tenant settings uh, you can view the risky users account management you can do multi-factor authentication for your customers you can manage self service password reset uh, and whole bunch of thing in the devices uh, from an apps perspective you can track the app performance uh, you can view the quarantine messages uh, and at the last you'll see sales advisor project outlined uh, opportunities and upcoming renewals for your customer so it's a single place through which you can basically add, uh, monitor 
uh, your partners uh, some of the uh, items within their tenant now similar to lighthouse in microsoft azure so if you go into portal.azure.com and if you just type lighthouse then you will find an option called as azure lighthouse as a service now again this is pertaining to microsoft azure services so you get like options over here so as you see over here there are the manage customers at scale so you can manage your customers which have been onboarded to your offerings and view the delegated resources so you need to have the delegated permissions assigned to you uh, you can ask for uh, azure lighthouse so you can navigate to app source partners and get those apps and similarly there is control service provider access so you can assign eligible authorizations that use azure ad privilege identity management to access your just in time uh, basis now from an azure lighthouse perspective if i go to manage your customers here like as i'm not connected to uh, any partner i'm not able to see the data but then here you will see a whole bunch of things like any delegations so if i've been delegated for my uh, have delegated resources for any customers that will be visible over here then as i'm like if i'm a cloud solution partner then all the customers now uh, will be visible over here now you can alternatively check your customers in the partner center as well now there's a whole bunch of documentation uh, written by microsoft so uh, it talks about microsoft 365 lighthouse how you can provision it, how you can uh, use to build uh, your customer base. Uh, and there are a lot of AI driven insight, which helps you deliver proactive, actionable and personalized recommendation to acquire new customers uh, and improve customer retentions and expand business with uh, offers, the premium offers. And there's a lot of material uh, uh, in terms of video. Uh, and also uh, there are some documentation around uh, the benefits of Microsoft 365 Lighthouse. So basically it provides you a AI driven recommendation to acquire and retain customers, uh, provide tenant deployment journey so technicians can follow a consistent steps. Uh, you are in loop about how the customer is utilizing the Microsoft 365 services. Uh, it is mainly for small and medium business and you can also set up some security baseline if the customer is starting new. Uh, and also you can configure multi-factor authentication and self-service password reset capabilities. Uh, there are other things like uh, checking the risky sign-ins, uh, managing threats on Windows devices and providing insight to Microsoft 365 service incidents and devices. Uh, similarly, there is documentation for Azure Lighthouse. So Azure Lighthouse, as I mentioned to you, it enables multi-tenant management with uh, scalability higher automation and enhanced governance across Azure resources. So uh, this is a nice diagram which Microsoft has provided talking about the foundation, the control plane and the options and the scenarios. So you, if you have that Azure delegated resource management, uh, you can basically uh, check uh, uh, cross tenant experience uh, you know, within Microsoft Azure uh, third party services like storage, compute, networking. Uh, and also uh, there are other marketplace uh, applications as well uh, so what are the benefits the benefits are basically management at scales greater visibility and control for customers and uh, a unified platform tooling so you get one uh, pane of glass through which you can manage your multiple customers uh, and if you are enrolled in azure uh, you know, the cloud solution provider program then you will get to see uh, various uh, uh, tenant related feature set uh, not limited to microsoft 365 but at an azure side as well and uh, you you will be able to manage customer resources uh, uh, more scale uh, you can check existing api management tools and workflows can be used with the delegated resources that includes a uh, machine hosted outside of azure regardless of the region in which they are located and the capabilities again you get a new azure portal experience you get azure resource manager templates azure delegated resource management uh, and uh, various offers uh, for uh, your services to customer through private or public uh, offerings so that's it folks this is all about uh, lighthouse specific to microsoft 365 and microsoft azure thanks for watching